huh? That's a chunker, chunker, chunker. Okay, let's see if we can't find any dead end fish back in here. pound six six um, 12 pound on the other seven six this is a steeper drop of a bank secondly also um, this is a, like more of a cut and semi of a cove like this is just a big cove and I think this is just a big feeding flat for some of these fish um, as you can see there's a ton of trout fishermen out there today so a ton of them so not a lot of guys fishing for, for bass so that's a plus for me using a uh, pisophon here uh, destroyer 2000 and it works perfectly for what I'm doing right now it's just small jigs and it's basically like a small mouth reel um, but the 4000 series would be perfect for you if you're fishing on bigger lakes and stuff like that. But this 2000 is pretty good. So Let's move over to the next spot. I'll, got, I'll show you guys that TFO once we move over there. If I fall, it's my fault. But I'm going to make a pitch in here. Giant. No. I gotta get down there. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice chunk. Sweet. There you go, bud. Sick. Swimming off with it too. That's a good sign. So some of these fish are pushed up and starting to bed and others aren't. I thought he was bigger than that, dude. <laughs> right there most of the time it's a bluegill busting but sometimes you can and then bluegill bust sometimes those bass aren't too far behind bass are very curious a lot of people don't know that but bass are very curious fish all right guys so basically um, I had a couple questions asking about this TFO rod. You guys were interested in coming down to Tackle Unlimited and getting yourself one. We can specifically order you one also. Um, a lot of guys don't know this, but Gary Loomis designs these uh, casting and spin, spinning reels for bass fishing. And let me tell you something, TFO is the way to go. Um, this is a 7.6 medium heavy Temple Fork Outfitter. And it can hold up to a 3 eighths weight to an ounce. So... 3 eighths is probably your best bet on with using this and in one ounce is your best bet so um, I'm seeing some guys moving I'm gonna actually get over there before they get over here because I don't want them hitting this tree that I see that's really nice but I just wanted to give you guys the uh, what this rod was and um, yeah so come on down to tackle unlimited on route 51 in Clarendon I'll get you hooked up you boys getting them you guys getting them no crappie. No, that's why we come over to this side. That's what I would think that they'd be in there or in that bigger one over there. Wow. You guys using fat heads, huh?
That's what I'm going after. Well, this is like my fourth one I just caught out of here. I caught five of them so far, too. Yeah? You're already on number two. <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> this is a jig with a weed guard on it. You can put it right in the trees and stuff like that and it won't get hung up. Dude, that's sweet. Yep. You come here a lot or what? Uh, no, today's just a, I'm off work today, so it's like, you know, okay. just to spend some time. I know a lot of guys come here for trout and so I just, I just come here to see if I can't catch anything. It's more of a challenge than anything, to be honest yeah. with you. Oh, they put they put 25 and a half inches in here this year, and they and they closed this down all winter so they could you know so they can stabilize and whatnot. So, so I mean they're they're still in here. You just gotta find them. Now, you fish for bass or what? Yeah, I'm strictly bass fisherman. Bass fisherman. Yeah, I fish the lawn pretty heavy also. And I always snag into or hook into a couple every year. I hooked a 50 incher this year oh, yeah. on an eight pound test and a small three inch grub. Holy yeah. He stripped me out full of all my line. Damn. Yeah, it was it was a giant. It was huge. It's a little better one. Yeah, that's a bit nice. He's nice. That's a female there. Full of eggs. Go, sunshine, go. Get up in here. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. That's a stud right there, buddy. <laughs> that is a slouch. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that spawn. Look at that. She's been spawning. She's getting ready to. big girl get in there get back to your bed Whew. that's the biggest one I've caught all day right there buddy thank you guys so much for watching we're just gonna end it out here if I don't catch any more I'm gonna record for the rest of the day after that fish that there's nothing I could top that unless if I catch a six he was at least three and a half. Still full of eggs. They're still spawning here. Just how I thought they should, how they would be. I'm using, I ran out of jigs, so I'm using this little Texas rig, uh, Straight King um, Magic, not Magic Crawl, Candy Crawl. And he absolutely munched it. Munched it. I was gonna leave too. I was just about to leave. And I said, Jake, go, go past them, them, them folks that were standing right there. And I did. And I pull out big girl there. Oh, my goodness gracious. So many trout fishermen here. Not one other bass fisherman that I can really tell you. Just wow. Give you guys a tip. See how this is like just a little cut inside this bank right here this is what they're going to spawn on especially if you got wood around it they're going to be spawning i see her right now actually she's right back on her bed and she's happy and ready to go so she don't want it. i'm not even going to bother her on her bed don't stress her out more than she's going to be for a little while she's going to be very stressed out very tired 
Just wow. Just freaking wow. Well, guys, I am done. I am finito. I'm finished. I gotta get back home. I'm kind of hungry. And also, I don't want to beat myself up too much today for work tomorrow. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, 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 please hit that like button. That would really... Ooh, look what I'm dealing with here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, it would really mean a lot to me. If you guys don't know where this place is, virgin run um, it's closest like the closest lake to my house so I decided to come and drive out this way and do some bass fishing obviously they're spawning the largemouth are spawning right now so if you guys are out there and you're searching for them look at the banks look around areas that have cuts in them um, trees wood anything down stumps stuff like that and they're gonna be around it there's some there's some already spawned out and it's just the males guarding the the the, the uh, fry so keep your eyes out look for the banks look for beds look for anything on its bed or around small little minnows that look like baby bass and throw your lure near it they 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 that's what they're meant for the males protect the beds after the females move off of them after they fully spawned out but this place is absolutely beautiful not as much trash uh a lot of nice people like I've talked to three guys here and they're all the nicest people I've ever met so thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned um, I've been working quite a bit at tackle unlimited if you did not know come on in you need any help I'll help you up and uh, yeah so again guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you later